Well, well, look who's got the right stuff. You made it into the Nye Lab Sky Lab. Have a blast. Huh? Cool. Oh, sorry, I was, I was just, um... <clears throat> well, rockets are an excellent way to check out the atmosphere. See, the atmosphere is like a giant ocean of air that blankets the Earth. But from space, the atmosphere looks like a thin blue line. See, compared to the Earth, the atmosphere is thin. Really thin. I mean, like covering a basketball with... A piece of plastic wrap. <laughs> See, thin. <laughs> so, check it out. Use these and find out about the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, uh, use the rockets, not the basketball or the plastic wrap. T minus 10, 9, Six, five. Yeah, it stands for time, as in time minus. Isn't that cool? Uh oh, now I lost my place. Where was I? Uh, T minus ten, nine. What was it? Three, two, one. O G. Huh? Hey, good job! You've made your way to the Sky Nye Control Tower and Weather Station. From here, you can call Connie Vection on board the Sky Nye Blimp, you can check the radar map, you can check the current weather, and you can get the official weather service forecast on the weather radio. <laughs> sure beats having to watch some guy in a bad suit push magnetic clouds around on a map on TV, doesn't it? Well, no. I, I don't think so. Cool. Captain Connie Vection here, reporting beautiful clear skies and light tailwinds. Fine conditions for flying the human-powered blimp of science. Standing by. All right. Let's see if you got the right stuff. Stand by to launch. Standing by. Standing by. 
standing by, and lunch! <laughs> now you've done it. The whole place is sucked in. You know, right now you remind me of driftwood. Nice to look at, but you're just kind of floating around, not... Okay, we'll try it one more time. Eh, while that might be helping the grass, I don't think that answers any riddles. Or helps their game. Uh-oh. Uh Good thing I got another one. Roger, Nylabs. Sky vac vacuum has been deployed. I'll make a sweep, then swing back home with the samples and drop them off at the microlab. Vection out. Huh? You know when TV weather people show radar maps of where the clouds or rain or storms are? Well, clouds and rain show up on the screen like this. That's because when radar signals are beamed out, they bounce back off water droplets in the air and show up as blobs on the radar map. These blobs are where the action is, where there are clouds, wind, rain, and lightning. Check it out! Scattered clouds expected this afternoon as a cold mass of arctic air blows in closer to the city. Huh? A weather map helps us understand what's causing the weather all around us. Now these lines on the map are what we call fronts. A front is the border between two huge masses of air. Now here, there's warmer, low-pressure air with lots of moisture. And here, there's colder, high-pressure air that's dry. Now where those fronts meet, the warm air cools down and gives off its heat energy. Now that's what fuels thunderstorms, tornadoes, and even hurricanes. So as an old weather person once said, know your front and watch your back.